hi guys welcome back to my channel this is jamila and today we are back for another weekly wax melting basket so we're just gonna hop right in excuse my voice it is like i haven't talked at all today it's like almost eight o'clock in the morning so yeah so the first empty we have is a fave it is raven cliff from the pharmacist's daughter it is blue sugar wood sage and sea salt zucchini bread and i normally let my wax cure longer than a month but i just had to it is such a good scent and it threw amazing um this scent i don't have any issues with with it throwing well at all so yes definitely is a favorite of mine for sure uh, the zucchini bread the blue sugar when i see wood sage and sea salt i normally think of a bathroom scent but this scent is amazing i melted it in my room and the bathroom so yes love this scent next we have this tricks heart from l3 is candy corn and this scent was just a your basic candy corn scent nothing too crazy i believe i got it in a mystery um trick tarts don't normally prefer perform can't get my words together perform well for me but this one did okay what about it again no it's just a typical candy corn scent so i definitely will buy it like in a mixture or something of that nature next from fantasy wax melts we have ellie and car which is strawberry and white cake and to the, me this scent just smells like strawberry not white cake would i get it again probably because i like to mix strawberry scents but it doesn't smell like strawberry white cake so yeah there's that um this next scent is zucchini bread and blueberry cobbler um this scent was okay once again um it was just okay for me um the throw was not that good um and it's been curing since may so hopefully other scents because i have this in multiple forms um, so hopefully other scents perform better for me. So there's that. Next from L3, we have um, sweet cinnamon, sugar, cranberry, marmalade, apple cinnamon. And this scent performed through very well. But I'm not big on a cranberry note, especially cranberry and cinnamon. So I probably would not pick this up again because of that. But if you like a good cranberry note, it's it's through well and it lasted a long time so i would tell you to get that next we have pretzel and fresh coffee from fantasy wax melts this to me smelled better on cold than warm um i smelled more pretzel than coffee and i really wanted a coffee note so if you're not a big fan of coffee and you're looking for a pretzel scent i would say get this but mm, not my jam i have many more so i have time for my mind to be changed for sure so yeah so there's that next from um the pharmacy starter we have on holiday which is sea salt ocean mist sea moss zest soap type and this was a perfect bathroom scent at first i was a little weary because it's a bit strong very woodsy no i think it has to be the sea moss but on warm it smells amazing it's a perfect bathroom scent for me i definitely will purchase this again for sure next we have for fantasy wax wax fantasy wax melts we have pretzel and apple butter scotch cake and this scent was it's a fave of mine well the apple butterscotch cake and that's what you mostly smell there's a little butteriness to it but it mostly smells like apple butterscotch cake i melted this living room the it, the throw was really really good so yes i would definitely pick this up again another scent from fantasy wax melts is zucchini bread and warm vanilla sugar this scent i was super excited for this scent because that warm vanilla sugar note was really really nice but unfortunately i i threw but not as strong as i would have wanted the throw was moderate and i guess 
maybe I'm expecting too much from for a vanilla scent. Because I could smell it while sitting in the room. Sometimes some scents, you have to come in and out of the room. But I could smell it while sitting in this room. I melted it mostly in my bedroom. So it was a good scent. I definitely have more of these. But I love me a good warm vanilla sugar note. So I definitely picked this up again. And I have plenty more of these in different shapes. So yes, there's that. Next, we have from L3 Cider Lane Green Apple and Candy Corn. This scent was a banger. Like, a, a banger. Amazing. I would definitely purchase more of this. This scent just really did it for me. The throw was amazing. The scent. You got that green apple for sure with that Cider Lane. Amazing. Would we'll definitely pick that up again. Next... I'm just dropping stuff next we have from the pharmacist daughter beach mint which is spearmint peppermint beechwood vetiver swedish stream salt this scent was really really nice i think this is a carryover from last week yes it was really really nice um scent perfect for the bathroom with that beechwood vetiver very like just chill beachy minty note so definitely enjoyed this we'll pick it up again the next scent we have is zucchini bread and pumpkin pecan waffles. This scent was a really, really nice scent. Um, definitely a good fall scent. The throw was um, moderate, and I love the scent. So I, I have many more of these once again in different shapes because I bought a lot of these from her like fall pre-order. So yes, I'm super excited to melt more of these for sure. And then we have this scoopable, which I believe was a carryover from last week. It's Palo Santo Fallen Leaves Cashmere Cedar from L3. And it's just amazing. Like, the Fallen Leaves isn't a super, super strong leaf scent. Leaf, leaf scent. So, you get that Palo Santo. It's a very relaxing fall scent, if that makes sense. So, yes, I would definitely pick this up again for sure. And the last empty we have is Haunted Mansion from the Pharmacist Starter. This was a sample. And this sample was amazing. Like, first of all, look at how big this sample is. Like, it's two ounces. Um, And uh, it was just so amazing. Like, I don't have the scent notes to it. But I believe maybe apple, pumpkin, pecan, waffles mixture of some sort. Of apple, pumpkin mixture is amazing and uh, i really want to message them and be like what are the notes are y'all bringing this back because this is amazing for sure i definitely want to have more of these so those are all my empties for the week and we're just going to hop into first our carryovers for the week and then what will be melting what we added new to the basket so the first carryover we have is santa's on keto from l3 it's a scoopable it's vanilla ice cream vanilla wafer vanilla cook, cook cookies and brown sugar butter cookies so yes that's the first carryover the second carryover we have this loaf from l3 is pumpkin pecan waffles palo santo sugar cookie royale and sugared shortbread so that is our second carryover for the week and let's just hop right into it i actually pulled this stuff while i was organizing my wax so yeah first things first i pulled another loaf because clearly i have a problem so we have from L3 Pumpkin, Sugar Donuts, Cupcakes at Tiffany, and Sugar Cookie Royale. Mm, that smells really, really good. You know, I had to continue with the fall theme. Um, not all of these are fall, but most of these are. So, yes. This definitely, I definitely smelled that pumpkin, sugar donuts, and like the sweetness from the bakery sweet notes. So, super excited to melt that. I needed a coffee scent, so we have this um, from the pharmacist's daughter, You're My Lobster, which is Coffee House Celtic Moon Spice, Zucchini Bread, and Creme Brulee. This, look at how big this shot cup is. It is 3.25 ounces. It's huge. Mm, I mostly smell that coffee house. Let me take it out if I can. I can't. Not right now. Okay. 
and a hint of that creme brulee, but mostly coffee. So I'm really excited to see if some of those other scents come out on warm. From L3, we have this sample, which is Cider Lane Mac Apple Milo. Let's see. Definitely smell the Cider Lane for sure. And a, a bit of the apple. So y'all know those are some of my favorite fall scents. From Fantasy Wax Melts, we have Mama Odie, which is sweet potato brown sugar. I'm hoping this performs better for me. Because the last time it did not throw at all. So hopefully this performs a little bit better. Next, from that Smell Good Shop, we have Caramel, Vanilla Bean Noel, Blueberry, and Banana. Mmm. That's a very runty banana scent, but in my experience, runty banana scents perform very well and smell very good. So, really excited for that one. Um, Next, from L3, we have Jack the Pumpkin King, which is pumpkin milkshakes, waffle cones, and vanilla hazelnut. Let's see. I smell a little bit of pumpkin, no, no, no cinnamon notes or anything. It's probably like a light pumpkin sweet scent, I guess you'd say. So yeah, I'll see how that smells on warm. I feel like I've melted this before, but I just don't remember how it worked, worked for me. So we'll see. Next, from the pharmacist's daughter, we have lavender cookies, which is lavender, cotton candy, sugar cookie royale, vanilla cupcake, and butter mix. This definitely seems like it's going to be up my alley. Mmm. That definitely smells like a lavender bakery sweet scent. Not really getting cotton candy, but like a lavender bakery. And you wouldn't think that go would go well, but it smells really, really good. So, there's that. From Fantasy Wax Melts, we have Zucchini Bread and Jelly Filled Donuts right here. I threw in a couple of scents that weren't fall. That smells really good. I mostly smell that Jelly Filled Donut, so we will see how that performs on warm. From Black Magic Melts, we have Pumpkin Zucchini Bread. Let's see. And this is one of the um, older scents from Black Magic Melts. Their wax has changed. But that smells really, really good. I definitely smell that pumpkin scent. Not much to get any prep, but it'll probably come out on warm. From the Pharmacist Daughters, we have Pink Pajamas, a sample. Mm, this scent. I don't know the scent notes, but it smells like really like maybe pink sugar and some florals, but not much florals. But I definitely think I smell pink sugar for sure, but it's not just plain pink sugar. It has something else in there. So we'll see how we like that one. From the Fantasy Wax Melts, we have Pretzel and Sugar Cookie Royale, a sample. And y'all mostly getting that buttery pretzel note, which is always a vibe for me. Um, of course, I need another bathroom scent. We have Irish Spring from That Smell Good Shop. It's fresh and clean, just like the soap. I love a good Irish Spring soap. Mm, that smells just like Irish Spring. I love Irish Spring. Um, I love the scent of it. So, yes. Definitely excited to melt that while I'm in the shower. The next scent we have mm, from Fantasy Wax Melts is Sweet Almond. I believe this is a core scent in the shop. It is almond, cherries, and apples. And although it does not fit the vibe, I smelled this because I was pulling um, my wax when I was organizing it and putting up some new wax I bought. And I smelled this. I said, oh my goodness, I have got to. Use that this week. It smells just like cherries. Y'all know I love a good cherry scent. So, had to pull that. 
from L3, we have Bonfire Bliss Cookie Therapy, which is Santa's on Keto Pretzel Sugar Shortbread. Let's see. Hmm. It's very different. But in a good way. You get those fall notes of whatever Bonfire, Bonfire Bliss is. And the sweet notes of the cookie therapy. So it smells really, really nice. I really like that one. So we will see what that's hitting for. And the last but not least, I we have from Fantasy Wax Melts Pretzel and Honey Buttered Rolls. Let's see. Oh, mm, that's nice. Okay, so it has mostly pretzel in it, but I get a slight hint of that honey butter rose. And honey butter rose smells to me like cinnamon, in my opinion. So I thought it'd be perfect to pull for fall. So yes, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like my content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!